Tavena and Norton equivalent circuits. This is the second part and this video is just to show you another way to find R Tavena or R Norton because both have the same value and uh, we can use this method uh, when we have uh, independent sources, current source, voltage source uh, so it's another way, it sometimes is easier than use uh, sh the short circuit uh, method for that we use for to find uh, I Norton. So let's f follow this algorithm here on the right side of the video. Uh, first step we are going to remove the load so we don't have the load anymore just the connection points A and B. Uh, the next step we kill all, all the sources. We replace voltage source by short and current sources by open. The last step, the third step here, is to find the equivalent resistance between points A and B. So we are looking for the resistance seen uh, from this point here. This is going to be our uh, Tevena resistance. So let's do it. We have, so we replace the current source by an open and the voltage source by a short circuit. And now what we can see here, that since we don't have anything here, there's nothing connecting this node to any other point here, we can see that the 5 ohms resistor, it is in series with the 25 ohm resistor. So we can add them up. When I add them, I have 30 ohms here. Uh, for this series combination and this third ohms resistor it is in parallel with a short circuit so the equivalent resistance here at the, this combination is going to be zero so let's replace it by a zero now we have only uh, this 20 ohm resistor and 10 ohm resistor down here and since we don't have anything between them we can see that both resistors are in series we can add them up and when I do so I see that I got I will get a 30 ohm resistor which is in parallel with the 60 ohm resistor so now it's easy it's product over the sum and the final value uh, is 20 ohms which is our uh, R Tevena or R Norton. So uh, this is the way you can uh, also find use to find R Tevena. Thanks for watching.